Oh. Okay, so I got an iPhone XS a couple of months ago and uh, I hadn't actually tried gaming with it, even though I have uh, done other videos with my iPhone 7 and also my iPad. Uh, but this video revolves around uh, setting up with a digital AV adapter. So this is an HDMI to Lightning, so that just plugs into the phone. And this is an HDMI cable going into a monitor or a TV. So if I was to plug that in, you'll see that the monitor very quickly picks it up. Uh, and my monitor has no sound, but if it had sound, it would send it through to it. Uh, and you can use that for pretty much anything the phone does. Various different video sites work with it. Again, I've got videos on that. Uh, you can play music through your TV or a hi-fi system. You can use it for obviously stills like it is here, showing web pages on your TV, all sorts of things. But also, it works very well for gaming. So if I flick to uh, GTA, I'm going to show Fortnite, but I'm going to show it screen captured because it really does look impressive. Obviously, GTA is quite an old game. Now, I'm using uh, an Xbox controller. So if I go start game and load game, you'll see that the performance is, is actually really good. And I have got audio in the next bit, but this is more just to show you the two devices running at the same time to see how in sync they are, how fast everything moves. So if I just get in a car, so there should be a car in here, a police car is handy. Not so much fun without sound, but I couldn't see where I was going, right. And as you can see, uh, the graphics look pretty decent. Uh, it will look better when I'm on screen capture in a minute. Um, but uh, but yeah, the performance is really good. And yes, this is an old game, but there are loads of other games that do work with this as well. Uh, and I have other videos on those. Um, but uh, I was playing Fortnite last night and actually the performance is excellent. And it's amazing to think that it's coming from a phone. So an ordinary controller, the cable, uh, it, it is... Uh, very, very easy to just carry around as your portable games console, but there are loads of games available for it. Right, so let's switch over to screen capture anyway. Okay, so you can see my phone is plugged in to the TV uh, and I'm on screen capture now, but it's just to show you how, how quick it is and how similar they both switch at the same time. So let's start a game. Okay, so if I, if I move around, you can see that the graphics look pretty amazing for a phone really. Uh, you can see the view distance is very far uh, and it's nice and clear, nice and crisp. And considering you're just using a, a wireless Xbox controller and the HDMI cable, I think performance wise it's hard to complain really. A bit long distance for that. So what I'll do is I'll try and jump into a crowded area. Uh, and see what we can get there. I would imagine, yeah, that's probably the busiest area around here. Although, probably that town is probably going to be busier, isn't it? Let's go over to that. I haven't played Fortnite for quite some time. Um, but uh, having changed my phone, uh, someone else had reported that they had really good from an iPhone X, and this is an iPhone XS, and I, and I figured I'd give it a try and see how well it performed. And I played it last night, and it was amazing. Just, just like playing on a console, really, it really is. And there are a lot of controller games that you can get. Is that a gun? What was it? More bullets. There's someone near me as well. Loads of bullets, but no weapons. Literally nothing around here. It could be a problem, can it? Can I keep around the outside? Someone over there. I don't know, don't know that they've got anything. Ah. Right, where's that person? Quick with the wall. 
Woohoo! I can't get used to the to the running at the moment. I'm sure the controls are slightly different to what I used to use. Right, I don't think there's any anybody else in this building because there's no footsteps markers and the mobile version of this game is very good at, at showing you footsteps. Thought I saw someone then. Oh some action's gone on down there that. And there's a chest somewhere near here. Was it in there? Small shield potion did I get? I didn't take any damage before, did I? Ah, there we go. Let's go with this chest. And then let's start to get back in. Crash pad, I don't know what that is. I don't know what anything is. Right, I'm gonna get get moving, I think. How far am I up? Oh, is that someone over there? Get a bit closer before I make my presence known. That's good, happy with that. I'm going to keep running. Level up. Just see if there's anybody behind me. Oh, yeah, there is. Where are they then? This weapon, though, right? So, oh, I said I didn't know about the swimming element. Uh, I jumped in the water before, and it uh, you swim quite fast across. It's quite, it doesn't seem like that much of a disadvantage to be in the water now, and obviously, you're low down as well. I'll go down here. Doesn't look like I can. I don't want to try this sort of strafing down the hill trick just in case it doesn't work. Should we try that? What is that crash pad? Oh. Oh, I see. So I can. Oh, I don't. I don't take any damage then if I do that. Oh, I like that. Anybody behind me? Oh, and you leave the crash pads behind. Oh, it's a fish. I was, I was just about thinking that was a person then. But the draw distance is really good, and it is very playable. I did, I did play this quite a while back on my iPad Pro, um, but just actually on the iPad Pro screen, um, and I was sort of really up close to it, and it did work very well. More fish. How many's left? Thirty-nine left. Is it dangerous to swim across there? I think it's, it's probably all right now it's fast. I think people don't necessarily see you very well like that. Uh, definitely some action going in here. And I, I don't know if, I, if you can use the helicopters. Have a look behind me. Right, I'm gonna go up. Right, 
right, I'm triggered to go up. Someone in that house. Is that just too far away? Oh, I can't get that anywhere near that. Oh, I thought he was going to be Oh, headshot. Oh, someone else shooting me. Where are they? Oh! Crikey, what was that? Were they close to me? Probably fairly close. Okay, so I think that shows that um, you can definitely play and use your phone as a console. So I also have some games on here just to show you that, as I say, I've got other videos on this, but uh, Minecraft also works very well. Roblox works very well as well, but I haven't got that on here at the moment. But you can see really nice environments, really nice draw distance, very smooth movement. Obviously it's an Xbox controller, so it's nice to control with. And just, just works really well. Okay, so I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.